back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm doing a Marks and Spencer's haul for a family of five. I do apologise for the quality of the footage but I'm filming this on my phone because my battery's just died. Um, so yeah it's for a family of five and I spent £166 this week which is more than usual but they had so many sale items on so I'm going to put a lot of the things in the freezer. So I will put down below and you'll see it in the title how long this shop lasts. I think that most of the veg pretty much will last for the full seven days. Um, so next week it might be more fruit and veg that we're getting um, because we do have meat to put in the freezer. So I'm going to get into the haul now and if you do like these types of videos and please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are new here. Mommy, <laughs> yes. So I'm going to get into the haul now. So I've split everything up. So we've got all like fruits and veggies over here and other bits and bobs there. Um, also, to buy a lot of fruit and veg recently because I've been limiting the amount of like like full meats that I've been having because I'm predominantly plant based so um, I've been needing to get a lot of um, fruits and vegetables and fruits which I have in the morning but um, I should have a photo here of the fruits that I've got because they didn't have any frozen fruits at um, Marks and Spencer's so I'm going to start over here so like I said it was £166 this week these are the tricolour baby tomatoes and they were 65p some garlic frozen super um, sweet sweet corn frozen broccoli extra green fine green beans and brussels sprouts i got some porridge oats for the kids and then they've got some malted wheats for saturday morning um olive oil for ryan and then the walnut oils for me if i have i might have put the video up already where i'm talking about this hot griddle um that i bought and it is even though it's non-stick i think you need a little bit of oil so i've got this i really like to cook um with that um mountain scottish mountain spring water i got two of them I got three bags of these easy peelers. The kids love them and I've been having them as snacks as well. Got this bag of apples. This lettuce is really nice. It's super crunchy. Tastes really nice in a salad. I got mixed exotic mushrooms to make like a creamy mushroom dish again. These sweet potatoes, I can't believe the size of them. They're massive and it was only 45p each. So I've got two. I plan on making a soup for lunch one day with like one of them maybe. Or I, I don't even think I need all of this. And maybe making some like sweet potato fries. I got some bananas here and I've got some over on the other side as well. I got a pomegranate. And then I got these potatoes, cauliflower. And then I've got loads of celery. I've been having celery juice in the morning and I've been reading a lot of amazing things about having celery juice. So I've been enjoying it and then Ryan said that he wants to um, have um, have it as well. So I needed to stock up. So I've probably got like about six or seven of these because like you need a lot just to make the, you know, like the juice. Um, British Savoy cabbage. Um, some banana shallots. I got them instead of getting like regular onions. I got some spinach. I love that. I pretty much have that every day. I got these. Um, the kids haven't had these for ages. Fisalis. Um, so yeah, the kids really like them, don't you? Um, and then I got these organic carrots. These were 65p lime and lemons. Spring onions. There's the other massive sweet potato. The landlord has a cat and um, he pays for the cat food but we feed it while Caleb feeds the cat and we thought we'd get her some treats so they've just been outside giving us some of these biscuits and this treat here. Some um, ripen at home avocados, they are um, £2. These bananas, they're only I think like maybe 45p or cheaper than that. Um, so they're usually really ripe um, but it's a way for them to, you know, um, stop food wastage. It'd be really good if they did it with other fruits and veg as well. So this is the 3 for 10 meal, uh, not meal deal, 3 for 10 on meat. So I've got the tempura chicken, classic chi chicken tenders, and then the southern fried chicken, which you really love that, don't you, Kayla? Yeah. I've just got Kayla <clears throat> beer now. You are right. Um, and then this breaded haddock, there's like six fillets in here, and they're usually £5.50, but they were £3.85. So I'm going to, they'll be having this t um, tonight and then I'm going to put this in um, the freezer because they are freezable. These, I usually buy frozen chicken fillets. Um, this was seven, they're usually seven pound but it was reduced to four pound ninety and these ones aren't frozen but they can go in the freezer. So I bought three packs of that so that's why my shopping went up like a little bit. 
Um, but I thought that's a real bargain that for him to be reduced to £4.90. Um, and then I got hummus, reduced um, fat hummus. I got two of those. And then I also got this one here, which I really love, the extra smooth hummus. It's really nice, that one. This was in the sale. Um, I'm going to um, warm this up now. Um, the kids have already had the lunch, but I'm going to warm this up and then um, with some pita bread so that they can dip it in. They really like this. Um, so that was reduced to £1.42. We'd run out of the um, mustard. I really like this. It's lovely. And then I got a big bag of Italian mozzarella this week because last week I got a small bag, so I didn't manage to put a lot of cheese on the pizza that I made. So I've got some flour left, so I'm going to make some homemade pizza again. And then I've got um, this Isle of Man butter, which is Neva's favourite butter. So what do you call that butter, Neva? Royal cow butter. <laughs> Royal cow butter, she calls it. Um, two packs of 15 eggs. And then I got these vets. Um, I'm going to see if Ryan can cook these up on that um, griddle um, before I edit the video. So if, if it is in the video how he cooks them up, um, then I will put the video up above if you want to check that out. And then I got the French fries. Um, the kids and I really like those. And then this bread was reduced to 42p from 65. So I got two of those to put in the freezer. And I got this bread here, which was only 87p. These buttermilk, um, are they called piclets or picklets? Um, they're like little squashed crumpets. I got three packs of those, they're only 64p. So I thought the kids could just have them for a snack. Um, to get a bit peckish sometimes on an evening um, and then another one of those breads which was reduced so there's the um, olive sea abata Neva asked me to get that so that she can have the um, steak on um, on the sea batters with the fries wholemeal pita and then I really like um, these every now and again we'll get like one of these it's an apple mango and passion fruit they have different flavors non-alcoholic sparkling juice and the kids really like this popping cork thing um so yeah it's got like mango juice apple and all that and it. it's got no sugar it's got no sweeteners in as well so yeah so we'll be having that it's really nice um and then i got four tins of italian plum tomatoes cream of tomato soup for neva We've got some coconut milk, which will be for lentil curry, and also um, uh, chickpea curry. I've got some chickpeas here. I got these dates for me. I've been really enjoying these again. So if I'm if I'm um, craving something sweet, I just have one of these dates with a handful of walnuts. It's really nice. I got this blueberry jam for the kids this week. They didn't like that trifle one um, the other week. You should have seen that in one of my other hauls. Ground cinnamon, onion salt and garlic granules and then i got this um chocolate it's accidentally vegan i think it's got no milk in it and then i just got a regular um some um marshmallows what i'm gonna do with this if i've done it already i will put um a link to the video or photo they've got these like um these i'm gonna put a picture of them they're popcorn with like melted chocolate and they're like four pounds and there's only like 175 grams in them and Caleb really wanted one. Well, we've got a popcorn maker. So I thought, do you know what? Even even the chocolate alone is more grams than the one with the popcorn. So we're going to try and make our own. Um, and if I have made that video, then I will link it above. So I thought we could make um, this one, like a white chocolate, and then also make like a vegan version of it. Um, so yeah, I think it'll it'll be um, fab and maybe they could even chop some of these marshmallows up and put them on as well um, And then I just got an eco-friendly multi-purpose um, spray window cleaner um, They don't ha didn't have their own brand um, um, Washing up liquids. So we just got this fairy one This cashew nut milk um, butter. Oh my gosh I've talked about it before but if you have a Marks and Spencer's near you and you like nut butter honestly just pop in and buy this because it is absolutely amazing it's amazing as it is but also i have like i said I've been making my own nut butters with my nut milk bag pretty much every day now that's why i've not got any um any um 
oat milk this week so um yeah so with this i can put like a spoonful i'm not sure exactly how much i use i might try and um show you like a recipe at another time um but this with some added water blitzed up and then i put a bit of sunflower lessed in to stop it from separating it's a really nice nut milk um and it's only two pounds a jar so it's way cheaper than me buying like oat milk and like i said it's got a really nice flavor um the kids and Ryan have been really enjoying this red salmon. So I sometimes make like a main meal with it, a main meal of it with say like pasta, like a like a pasta dish. But they also like it when I mix it with mayo and they have like jacket potato or on sandwiches with some cucumber. So I got this again and it's really high in omega-3. Um so yeah, so I got a tin of that. Another um bit of bread cream of chicken soup which is um caleb's he really loves that and then i got the creamy oat because like i said i'm gonna make the creamy mushrooms and um i'm not sure what i'll do with the other half of it because i don't usually use the whole tub but this is really nice as well and um, but i think what i will do is i'm gonna try and make my own um creamy like nutty sauce made out of nuts i watch a channel called plantfully um kiki she's got some really good plant-based like recipes so i might try and make my own sauce next time so this is all of my haul i really hope that you liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye